Hey quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us here in Nebraska on this hot and humid Wednesday afternoon. My good friend Leslie's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. Are you I'm, doing okay in the heat? I am. We have a bunch of storm cleanup to do tonight though. Yes, Nebraska had a terrible thunder and lightning and rain and wind and stuff. That was yeah. fun to wake up to. Yeah, always exciting. That's good. Are you staying out of the heat though? Because it yeah. is so muggy. Yes, I. This is the first time I've left my house since last week. So <laughs> glad you could come to hang out with us today. Uh, Leslie's here filling in for Miss Christina, who's not on PTO. She so. is. I know, lucky Christina. How did that happen? And we didn't get to go. I don't know because it looks gorgeous where she's at. Yeah. I want to be there. I tell you. All right, Coulters, where's everybody watching from today? Okay, we were reading. Avon is watching from Yuma, Arizona, and it is the winter lettuce capital of the world. Didn't know that. Congratulations, you now all know that Yuma, Arizona. Uh, Texas is here. Tennessee, oh, we hope you are safe. Joe was telling us that parts of Tennessee had 17 inches of rain um, during the storm. All right. Um, let's take a look at some of the in, uh, projects for our intro video. First, we have this really cool project by Denise L. Okay, Leslie, so what cubes, shapes, do you, what do you think she's making here? This is so cool. Uh, she used a bunch of cube shapes. Right, so the flying geese is shape four and five. And then she made those four patches, um, that checkerboard, so she could have used her strip die. Mm -hmm. Or she could have used, um, like, shape... Uh, two. Uh, yeah, two. Yeah, there oh, we go. Wait. Yeah, two. Yeah, look at that. This is so pretty, Denise. I love the colors. I do love the red and white. It's beautiful. All right, next we have our alphabet um, quote by Jenny G. So, Leslie, tell us about this. She used our cube to make this? She, I believe so, because this is patterned by Bea Lee on our website. Mm. And I think Bea used her cubes and scraps to make it, so. Sure. Oh, it looks super cute. Good job for getting ready for school to start. And finally, the spider web die, because Leslie and I, we love Halloween more than all things. Yes. Um, this is the spider web die, and it doesn't look like spider webs. It looks like kaleidoscope. It does. I like it. I it like it. It really that. is pretty. And I do love the border around it. Oh, yeah. With the fabric around it. That is super pretty. Good that job. Pretty. All right, quilters, today we're going to talk about the um, ghost nails trail die, and we're going to kind of mix it up and make the go marbled um, snails trail die. I know. Our block. So I'm thinking about marbles, and when I was a kid, the, we played marbles, because I'm that old. So here is the photo of the day. All right, I grew up in a house of boys. I was the only girl and the youngest. And our favorite game of contention was Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Have you ever played Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Let's I think so, yeah. It's such a great game. I got well, You know, when it. you're a kid and your brother's playing against you and you can just hit him with the rock'em sock'em robot. So it was one of my very favorite games to play as a kid. So the question of the day is, what was your favorite game or board game to play as a child? So Leslie, Leslie has the best answer <laughs> of all of us, okay? So what was it? Dogopoly. Dogopoly. And it's a version of Monopoly. It is, and the utilities, instead of being like the water plant and... Mm -hmm lights it was like a fire hydrant in a butcher shop isn't that hilarious so dogopolis and um, many of the men here in the dream studio today uh, play the ultimate game of contention which is risk like world domination right and clue was another one i played yeah. that a lot as a kid clue was my second one yeah clue was really great it was really fun so the question of the day is What's your favorite board game? Put it in the comment section. Leslie's going to read some out. It'll be, I'm interested to see what people played as board Me games. Me too. All right. Today we have a great promo for you. Um, you're going to buy one, get one 70. That's 70% 70 off. Our Go Dyes cubes. And if you place an order over $100, we're going to give you free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. That promo code is BOGO70. All right. So make sure you use it to get, buy one, get one, 70% off. And don't forget, we still have a few of those crossroad dies left. Um, that, now, this is not included in the promo. Nope. But we are giving you this great price for the bundle. So what is the price, Ms. Leslie? It is $179.99. Yep. So it includes the crossroads die, the setting triangles, and the two mats that you need to um, create these or use both of these dies. 
So it's our dye to try for the month of August. So we have limited quantities, uh, but we still have a few. So this will already discount when you go put it in your cart. So make sure you put it in your cart. All right, so that's, that is super fun. All right, so today we're gonna make um, this really fun block using our snails trail dye. So today I'm gonna give away one of our Go Snails trail dye. So be sure to share the video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. And the lovely Lessa will announce the winner at the end of our show. And then Lessa, we have a second winner too, right? We have two prizes. Yes, we do. Okay, so the second prize is we're gonna give away a rotary cutter and a rotary cutting mat. That's a right? great way to get started. It is a great way to get started. That way you can like sub cut your fabric. Yes. Okay, so those both of those two winners and what you want to do is make sure you share in your personal Facebook page. Holders, do you know that we have a blog? Our blog is a great way to find inspiration tutorials. Leslie, tell us about our go-getters. What do they help us do? Yeah, our go-getters write our blogs for us as well as Kaden and Erica and a couple other people on our team. Um, so they write patterns and projects. They are so creative and they come up with so many more ideas than I can. Like, one of our go-getters changed our gingham dog into a wiener dog on Super a journal cute. cover. Yeah, and I was like, I would have never thought of that. So yeah, all the patterns are exclusive to our blog. Right, so today we're gonna use a pattern designed by Amanda Harward. Did I believe I so, that right? I believe so. Amanda, if I said your name right, I'm sorry. And that particular pattern is called the Go Marbled Snails Trail and it's only available on our blog, but guess what? For today only, we're gonna share that link with you so you can download this fun pattern. So look at this. Does it not look like candy? It's just so yeah. cute, I love it. Now this project uses the Go Snails Trail die and the eight inch cube and companion angles. So Snails Trail is a block and board, so let me show it to you real quick here. Okay, um, which means what, Leslie? If it's a block and board or a bob die, what does that mean? That all the shapes you need to make the block is on one single die board. Yep, yep, so all the pieces. And this one's cool because we have have given it specialized dog ears and we screen printed the letters, which is really gonna help you when you're putting your block together so you remember which shape is A and B and C and D. Listen, if you can use the alphabet, you can use our <laughs> bob die. All right, now, AccuCold actually has two sizes of this block on board, or bob die. One finishes to eight inches, which is the one we're gonna make today. Here's my finished block. Look how cool this is, okay? The other one is just for the Go Big Electric, and it finishes to what size, Leslie? 12 inches. Right, so if you look behind Leslie, there's that bigger size block, okay? If you have a cutter that has a handle on it, you cannot use the Go Big Electric or the Go Big dies. But the smaller version will fit in your Go, all right? Now, if you have that larger size die, if you have the Go Big Snails Trail, what size companions would they use? They would use the 12-inch companion. <laughs> yes, and the corner and the companion angles. Yep. So 12-inch Cuban companion, so you can make it both sizes. Now this die is perfect for layer cakes since it's on a 10 by 10 die board. A layer cake would also give you a really great variety to the blocks that you create. All right, since they're not all gonna be the same. The same. All right, hey, don't forget to join Lynn and Erica and I on Tuesday, August 31st, as we, uh, for our next live event, it's called Simply Scrap Happy. And we're going to show you how to bust up your scraps and use up your stash. And Leslie, why do they want to register in the link below? Because when you register, you're entered for our giveaways on Tuesday. Yes, and Leslie is in charge of so much of our, you're in charge of all the fabric giveaways, aren't you? I am, I get to pick the bundles that get given out. She has the best job, okay? So make sure you register. All right, so for each block, so I'm gonna hold this up again, you're gonna need all the pieces from white fabric and half the pieces from blue and half the pieces from purple. All right, here, there, you, now you can see it. Don't worry, you're gonna use the other pieces to create different blocks, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my die right here and I am going to put on two pieces of white. Okay, so look, I'm gonna look for that lengthwise grain nice and tight. Here, okay, lengthwise grain. This is the, um, look how much stretch that is. We don't want that, that's low and wonky. 
Okay, so high and tight is what you're looking for. And then I need one piece of blue. I'm always looking for that lengthwise green and one piece of purple, okay? All right, and I'm gonna use it on a uh, 10 by 10 die board. Leslie, so what kind size mat should I use? The 10 by 10. <laughs> yes, what happens if you try to use your 10 by 24? It will shake and shimmy and not cut right. And you will be cranky about it, okay? All right, so I'm using my Go Big today because I can. Um, these are back in stock, so if you're looking for those Go Bigs, they're back in stock. Um, but you can use this die on your Go Fabric Cutter. All right, Miss Leslie, while I cut this, um, tell us some board games people played as a child. There are some great ones. Um, Monica says Cootie and Yahtzee. <gasps> Cootie, I forgot about Cootie. What is it? It makes bugs that look like Cootie bugs. Oh. They're super cool. They have a long body and you put the legs and stuff oh, in Oh, okay, yep, I remember that. Okay. Um, Betty says she loves Scrabble, Clue, and played Canasta. Scrabble is kind of the game of contention at our house because we fight about words. Debbie said she also played Scrabble, but they created their own version called Scrooble. It's a bilingual version with Spanish and English. I would fail miserably at it. I would too in my degrees in Spanish. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so don't forget to share and put your comments in the, in the comment section. What games did you play as a child? Okay, now look, quilters, look how fast we cut all of their shapes. So I'm gonna give it a little love and slide this mat. How come, Miss Leslie? Because static has built up. It's so hot and humid in here. So hot and humid in here, okay? So I'm really carefully gonna pull this back. This is not a Band-Aid. Don't rip it right off, okay? All right, so now look at how cool this is. So you can see underneath are where all the letters are. Okay, all right, so it's cut all the shapes. And look, it's cut on the half square triangles, it's cut off those dog ears. So from this point here to this little point here is that perfect quarter inch seam. Okay, so <laughs> Leslie, you've used this die, yeah? You made pumpkins? I made stems to make pumpkins. So I made yeah. like the For spiral stem, yeah, I did. Okay, and look how fast we cut all these pieces. Can you imagine trying to do it by hand? I've never done anything by hand, so I wouldn't know how to even do that or begin. She has only quilted in the last year and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, Leslie and I have done events together, live events together, and so she learned how to quilt during that. She has never, ever just cut things with a rotary cutter. How lovely is her life? <laughs> okay? So here is my big pro tip. Always, always, always make a test block. So here's my test block. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out the pieces, okay, so that I can show you how to put them together, okay? So I'm gonna start here with the white, okay? And here's the blue. And now, you, yes, dear. While you lay that out, Wendy's wondering, do you wanna face all your pieces up? Oh, on the die. Yep, on your die, do you wanna face all the pieces up? Could you fan fold or would you it make fan fold. you good? Did you love that? In my head, I was fan folding. <laughs> See, no, you can fan fold. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I want to chain piece, because <laughs> I love to chain piece more than anything, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay all my pieces out. Okay, and I'm gonna lay them out in the order according to the, um, the die. So here is shape A, right? And then this is how you wanna lay it out, okay? So hang on here, there we go. And then I have some white. And this way you can just chain piece your blocks. And I'm gonna sew some of this together and then I'm gonna show you how to make this super cool Order. And don't forget our promo today. Buy one, get one 70. That's a 70% off. It is. And if you wanted to get the eight inch cube and the companion, the companion would only be $42. Oh my gosh. Or if you have the cube, get two, both of the companions, one would be $42. Of the eight, the six through the nine inch, That's I believe. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then it would ship free, yes? Yes, it would, because that would be over the $100. Now you notice how I'm watching this. Because I and my quilting head sometimes have sewn this block together wrong. 
because I was watching Netflix or something. I don't know. <laughs> so much of my bad quilting has happened because I watch shows while I sew. All right, Leslie, while I'm laying this out, tell us what people are doing. What board games did they have? Let's see. Cindy says that all the neighborhood kids would come to her house to play Monopoly. It could go on for days. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, I believe that. Karen says Candyland and Mousetrap. Oh, Mousetrap was a great game to play. Barbara said they liked Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I love um, Mr. Potato Head. There's a lot of Monopoly. Monopoly is very popular. Yes. Um, Kelly says her favorite was Aggravation. Oh, yes. I don't know if I, I remember that playing one. Aggravation. And Peggy says Uno. I almost said UNO. Um, yeah, Uno. Uno and Yahtzee. Oh, Yahtzee is one of my favorite games. I taught Oakley how to play Yahtzee. And mostly she just shakes the thing and throws the dice and yells Yahtzee. It doesn't really matter <laughs> what it is. She just thinks it's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start to this point and then I'm going to add the other pieces. Okay, so you see, look, here's A and B and C and D. Okay. You want to make A and B and C and D, okay? Don't forget, I'm going to give away one of our snail's trail dies, so be sure and share the video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Um, and we're going to give away our summer um, uh, cutting mat and ruler, right? Yep. Or rotary cutter. Okay, so I've taken my shoes off. And now I'm going to start. Okay. Don't forget, quilters, our AccuQuilt Live videos live on our Facebook and YouTube channels, so you can always go back and watch them later if you need help creating your projects. So, like, if you get ready to make this, you're going to go, oh, what did Pam say? You can go back and watch it, okay? And I'm going to bring my ironing board over my little mat and my iron so we can just do this all in one fell swoop. All right. Leslie, do you have one of these little shovel irons? I do. Yeah, it's super cool. Because you told me to get one. I did. I just need to now buy a new pressing mat. Oh, yeah. My cats okay. made it their bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the shape A's, the purples, and the whites together. You want to make sure on these you have a perfectly good quarter inch seam. So if you don't sew that quarter inch seam, make sure you practice a minute. Okay? And I'm just going to chain piece. And while I'm chain piecing, shape A's together. Leslie, tell us what games people are playing. I'm seeing a lot of life. <gasps> I forgot about life. They have an online version of it now. Is it called adulthood? What, I mean, what do no, you mean? No, it's still life. There's like just an online version to play life so you don't have to have the board game. Really? I always lost the little people that went in the cars. I always lost the little people too. Um, and we always lost like the candlestick from Clue. Oh yeah. Or the rope. Yeah. I, we lost all the little pieces from everything. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of Operation. Oh, Operation, yeah. That one's tough. It is. I played it recently with some friends, and I forgot how difficult yeah. it was as a game. It is. It's a little tough to play. All right, here, hold on. All right, so look, see, I'm just going to keep chain piecing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pieces that I've sewn together, and I'm going to press towards the dark, okay? All right, so we're gonna make a four patch, basically. We love four patches. Mm -hmm. Leslie, are you working on a quilt right now? I am. I decided I was gonna make a quilt for every one of my nieces and nephews, so. That is a valiant effort. It is, since I have nine of them, eight of them, eight of them. Yes. So I need to start working on them. I have most of the fabric <laughs> for them, and I need to start cutting them out. Yes, you do. Okay, so see, this is where I get all messed up. So I gotta make sure I have my little blocks laid out, okay? So look, here's those A's. So now I'm gonna sew them together. I have the other one there. And that way I can nest. So quilters, okay, I just wanna talk about how fast I cut out all of these pieces because now I can just sit and sew, which is the best part of it, right? The cutting out part, that's the part that takes the most time. That's the part if you're gonna make a mistake, that's where you're gonna make it. Don't you think, Leslie, that the cutting out is the hardest? Well, you don't know, you only ever used to die. No, the cutting out's the easiest. I make my mistakes while I sew, because I'm still new at it. Yeah, but I feel like you're getting better. You've made lots of quilts. Um, when we had our pet show, Leslie was the one who made our um, cute little cat. 
Yeah, that was my first quilt I actually finished. I love it. I love it with those Halloween colors. Yeah. Um, I made a pattern for it just for the block. Yeah. It's yeah. very simple and easy to put together. Yeah. I know I was slacking you. Okay, so while I'm sewing this, tell us what games people are playing. Um, someone said, Dottie says Parcheesi. Oh, Parcheesi is a great game. Um, let's see. I, Sue says Chinese checkers. Oh, yeah. Jenny said Battleship Monopoly and Cribbage. Oh, I've always wanted to learn how to play Cribbage. Do you know how to play Cribbage? No, I, I don't. Oh. Battleship was great because it also was one of those games you got to yell a lot. You sung my battle. <laughs> Uh, Georgia said Kerplunk. Oh, Kerplunk. Um, Oakley likes to play Jenga. Oh, I think it's the fun part of knocking things it over. It is, the total knocking things down. Yeah, yeah, it has nothing to do with being creative. It's just the knocking part down. Okay, so look here. See how I'm just chain piecing? Okay. So now I'm going to add the purple to both sides, and then I'm going to do the blue, and then I'm going to add the sides. So this is great because the die allows you to keep track of your pieces. Because without it, I don't know how you would possibly, possibly do this. I do like the two color one though. This little block, I've really oh, yeah. enjoyed making it. It's been super fun. Okay, so we're just gonna keep sewing and Leslie's gonna tell us what else games are playing. Annette says, don't break the ice. Oh. Yeah, so it was this funny little game that had fake ice cubes, obviously. And like a little penguin or something and like yes. sitting in the middle, yeah. And you gotta take like a little pickaxe and ping it. Yeah. Um, what's that other one? Uh, pickup sticks. Did you ever play pickup sticks? I don't think Who so. in this room is old enough to know that? No, Joe is old enough, hallelujah. I think she, uh, Joe, you just lay them down and then you had this one stick and you had to pick them all up without knocking the pile over. It was kind of fun. Nope. I feel like um, games are so great for kids to play. You know, our place, um, we taught Oakley how to play Slapjack, which <laughs> I'm not sure that was the smartest thing we ever did. Um, but she loves it. She loves playing that. And, you know, go fish and, you know, all those kind of fun things. Okay, what else are they playing here? Because I'm just sewing. I see a lot of people are saying jacks now. Jacks? with marbles as we're making the marbled snails trail. Okay, look at this quilters. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sew the whites on here and then I have a block that's already made. So we don't have to, you don't have to just sit and watch me sew. But this is truly the best part, right? Because this is the part that takes the part that I love to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew the whites to the other side, okay. And then I have a block and I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool border that Amanda made. Has Amanda written other patterns for us? She has, she's one of our pattern designers. So she writes quite a bit of our patterns for us. Oh. Um, she also did the Tree of Life block on our blog as well, which oh, was in one, of the intro, in one of the quilts in the beginning. I love that. And then Pam, there's some few questions. So Robin wants to know, okay. can you pin your seams on that four patch? All day long. Okay. Erica would love you forever. And then Eileen is wondering, are the shapes for the snail shell in the eight inch cube? So Leslie knows the answer to this. No, mm -hmm. they are not. No. But if you had which two sizes of cubes could you make the snail shell? The 12 and the six and the eight and the four. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so much easier on the oh die, my. on the bob, because you don't have to, I made it with the two cubes and it was so confusing keeping track of the pieces. Right. Because I didn't have the go big at the time and I was using the go big uh, size, so I made cubes, but right. I, would, I would highly recommend doing the bob because it's so much easier oh. to keep track of all your pieces and cut it all at once instead of taking dies out and putting them back. And right, and that's the advantage of a bob um, compared to like a, a cube, right? Yeah. I mean, a cube you need to take out, you know, five or six dies to make it where the bob, it's all in one die board. So um, the question people ask is, can I, can I get this <laughs> sewn here? Hold on, I just gotta line it up. Um, can AccuQuilt help me cut fabric more accurately? Okay, imagine quilters. I, I had never made a snail's trail quilt before I joined the team because why in the world would I cut all of these pieces by hand? 
what an absolute nightmare. And so not only is it gonna help you cut them out faster, 90% faster, but every single time it's gonna be accurate. And I think that that's the key, right? Is that it makes so much more sense to do things accurately. Hey, this is just, there we go. The edge is just like, hey, I'm not gonna work for you today here. Okay, so you would continue to do this, okay? And you would add shapes B and then you're gonna add C. So I have one that's already done up until this point and then I'm gonna show you how to make shape D. How are you gonna add it? Hold on, I'm gonna press these because I'm always gonna press away, right? This is such a cool little block. Okay, so there it is. All right, you would continue to build out your pieces. Ooh, and I'm gonna make this block later, so I'm just gonna put all the pieces together. Okay, so now I have one here that I've made already, and then what I'm gonna do is just gonna show you how to add these last pieces, and then I'm gonna show you how to make that super cool border, so, um, which is uses our cubes and companion set, okay? So look at how fun this is. This is how you know it's right. Okay. And if you wanted to get a companion set and the snail's trail, your snail's trail is only going to be $23.10 today. Oh my goodness. And if you get a companion set and the snail's trail, it's going to ship free because it's more than $100, yes, right? Yes, it is. It'll ship free to the contiguous U.S. And what's that code we're using today? Uh, BOGO70. BOGO70. Okay. And okay, this is why I always do too, because look, now I have to stop and do the other side. <laughs> okay. I do love to chain piece. I just, the problem is you got to make sure you do the first one right. One time I was making log cabin blocks and I sewed 36 of them completely wrong because the first one I sewed was wrong. Oh. And I didn't know until I'd done all 36. Oh, well. I almost for a hot minute thought, oh, this is a new design. And then I thought, no, this looks goofy. <laughs> so I fixed it. All right, don't forget to share. I'm going to give away one of our Go versions of our Snails Trail dies. Um, share in your uh, Facebook, right, for the chance to win. All right, so now I'm just adding shape E. This is the last shape I'm going to add. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to do the other side because we're this much from being done. So hold on one second. All right, let's see what games are people playing. I've seen some trivi Trivial Pursuit. <gasps> oh, have you ever played Trivial Pursuit? I have, but I'm really bad at it because I don't remember facts. Oh, yeah, I love Trivial Pursuit. That one is great. Um, okay, what else? Someone said Othello. Leslie says Othello. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I thought maybe you would. <laughs> Why, because I'm old or what? Well, because you've seemed <laughs> to know all the games so far. <laughs> I know. I've never heard of Othello. I haven't either. Uh, Roxy said Moncala is her favorite. Oh, Moncala. We our kids play that. I used to play that one too. Yeah, with the with the marbles and the stones. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a great game. Joan says a barrel of monkeys and mouse trap. Okay, a barrel of monkeys is a super fun game. <laughs> it is. I've forgotten about so many of these games. I know. Isn't it fun to think about the games you played? And we would have when I was a kid, because um, when I was a kid. There was television, I know. You find that hard to believe. Um, but there were only three stations of television. And there was not a lot of variety. And we had stacks and stacks of board games when I was a kid. And um, we played them all the time. Okay, so look at how pretty my block is. Okay. I do love the two colors, Leslie. I do too. I think it's pretty. We should totally make... Black and orange with Halloween fabric. Oh, yeah. I'm down for it. Okay. <laughs> All right, before I show you how to make the border, don't forget to join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, August 31st. That's my anniversary um, as we get Simply Scrap Happy. Be sure and register in the link below. Why do they want to register, Leslie? When you're registered, you get entered in for our giveaways, which is can, can be fabric, dyes, a yes. myriad of things on our... All sorts of fun things that we give away. We give away books sometimes. Yep. 
right? We've given away some of our travel totes before. Oh, yes, we have. We have lots of fun things. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to create the super cool border that um, Amanda created for the block. All right, so here we go. So what you need um, is the companion set. Or you need the 8-inch cube, and you need shape one from the 8-inch cube, which is what shape, Leslie? It's a square. It is. Right here is the square. Okay. And then from the companion angles, you're going to need two dies. Uh, 13 and 14, what shapes do they make, Miss Leslie? It makes triangle and a square. It does make triangle and a square. So I'm going to show you, I have some samples that I already show, uh, I've already sewn together. Ray asked me an interesting question the other day. He said, what do you do with all the samples? And the answer is, I finish them and then I have a whole bag and at the end of the year, I'm going to make a quilt with all of the blocks Ooh. that we made during our Facebook Live. Sometimes we use them for like launch parties and those kind of things and stuff. Okay, so look at this. Okay, this is how it creates that little offset snail's trail. All right? So now, here I'm going to use blue, here I'm going to use purple, and here I'm going to use white. Okay, so I'm going to actually, oh, I have some of all of it. Okay, so this, these are the two dies that I need. This is um, the center for triangle in a square. Oh, here, there, I can show it this way, sorry. It's my phone that keeps getting in the way. <laughs> so here's triangle in a square, and this are the triangle in a square sides, so they fit right here. Now, in my world, I call this a half rectangle. AccuQuilt calls it triangle and a square sides, <laughs> okay? So this one, um, I'm just going to create, I just took a long piece of black fabric because that's, you only need black for it. And I've already cut some. And then once I cut it, I'm going to flip my fabric over, okay? And then it's going to line up just like here, okay? Now, Leslie, talk about this shape. What is important to remember about cutting triangle and a square sides? You have to fan fold. Otherwise, Why? you get one direction side only. And yeah, you'll be if you don't, if you have all the fabric facing up, you're only going to get the left side, and you're going to be so cranky about that. Okay? So I have some white that I'm going to do, and we can always cut six layers, okay? And I have some purple. And then the side over here um, needs this pretty little pink. Okay? So I want to make sure that my fabric just comes past the blades. Okay? I'm going to do this because this is my smallest piece. There we go. All right, Leslie, while I'm laying out fabric, tell us what games people are playing. Well, we have a question from Gina first. Hi, she Gina. Said, Can we use bigger cubes with the snail's trail die? No, no. You have to, it has to match because this is the 8-inch companion angles. So together, these create a 4-inch block, which will finish to 8 inches. Yes. So if you're using the go big, you need to use the 12 inch cube. Okay, that's a great question though. Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna put my white on. And then, all right, now watch this. I have a go big electric. And which means I can run two dies through in one pass. So if one die is 90% faster, two is exponentially faster, all right? So here we go. All right, Leslie, what games are people playing while we do this last few things? Karen says Eggzilla. I don't know, I feel like it's like Dogopoly. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna have to Google a lot of these when we are yes, done. when we're done? Yeah, um, Othello, people did explain what that was. Okay, you it's have a game with, di with marbles, like marbles. black and white marbles, yes. and you flip them over. Yes, I remember it now. Um, I've seen a lot of Candyland again. Candyland, there you go. Um, Candyland was not my favorite. A couple people have said checkers. Oh yeah, checkers. Um, Do you know how to play chess? No. No, I don't either. Anybody here know how to play chess? <laughs> all the guys. <laughs> Everyone but us. Emily, Sarah, all the guys are like. I have a chess set, I don't know how to play it. Someone's oh. taught me before. But. There you go. All right, so let's lay out our pieces. So we're gonna follow the border, right? Follow the pattern. And we're going to create 
So on this side, okay, I just always lay out my pieces, quilters, because you never know what kind of nonsense you, you're going to make otherwise. Okay, so here we go. And then I'm going to show you real quick how to sew these together. Because triangle and a square is a super fun um, shape. And you can just make super cool stuff. All right, so look at this. Okay, oh, here, you know what? I'm going to do it here so you can see. Okay, so now on this one, I need purple. All right. And this is why you do back and forth, so then you get a left and a right. Because otherwise, it's only gonna make lefts and you're gonna be cranky about that. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, look at how cool this block is. I love this block. Good job, Amanda, for designing it. Okay, so let me show you. I'm gonna chain piece these two pieces together and then I'm gonna show you how um, to follow, okay? So just follow, look, I created some samples for you. All right. Next week, we're going to also make a pattern designed by one of our um, experts, Anita Amador, made the cow quilt. So we're going to we're going to have that pattern next week. Do you I know what dye that uses, Leslie? Our new pickle dish. A go pickle dish. I'm excited to see that because it is like the modified version. Yes. And you have, there's a paper template that I'm gonna show everybody how to make. And to be honest, I was super nervous about it, but it worked. Oh. I know it's always good I've when never it done paper templates, so it's like, that scares me. Yeah, too. no, it worked great. Okay, so look, I'm just chain piecing these pieces. And again, triangle and a square, you wanna make sure you lay it out so that it goes the right direction, okay? And I'm just gonna press this. I have a pressing mat, look at that. Um, I'm just going to press it towards the dark side. Well, there's dark towards the outside. Okay. Whew. Screaming hot iron. Okay. So there's this little piece right here, right? So now I'm going to add this shape. And you can totally pin these quilters. Let's see, are you a pinner? Um, sometimes, but usually no. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Sometimes Erica's voice comes to my head and I think, oh, I should pin that. But most of the time I do not. If I'm just doing like shapes like this together, I don't. But if I'm like sewing like the full block together, if it's like a lot of things that need to go together, I might. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Like rows. I have a tendency to pin rows together. Because yeah. then, you know, it's going to work. Okay, so look. Always lay it out. Make sure you're going to do it right. Okay. All right, Leslie, we have a time for like four more games that people have played. I'm excited about this. It makes me reminisce about my childhood here. Uh, Karen says tile rummy. Oh, sure. Um, I saw someone said um, mahjong. The, like, oh, mahjong? Yeah, that. Do you play that on your, like your phone? Yeah, I have. It, yeah. I am like hunting for things, like in doing like those like hidden clues and stuff. So that's kind of like. Oh, that one's fun. That okay. to like look for things. Yes. Uh, I like those. I've seen a lot of Sorry, the game of Sorry. That sorry, is Sorry, not Sorry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. Um, Susan said Shoots and Ladders. Oh, Shoots and Ladders, yeah. Um, shoots and Ladders made me cry a lot as a child. Yeah. I think my brothers, one, cheated. <laughs> and two, they were just mean. They were just mean to me when I was a kid. So, all right, look at this, quilters. I know, look at how fun that is. So then you would just continue to follow that pattern, right? And create this super cool block, all right? Don't forget today our promo is buy one, get one 70% off. Go dies and cubes. So what else should they get, Miss Leslie? Oh, they should get Storm at Sea goes with the Snail's Trail. Storm I've seen at that sea. that quite a bit. Yes, and Snail's Trail. That's a great. You get the Storm at Sea and Snail's Trail. The Snail's Trail is only $23. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, I would um, really get a companion set if you don't have those with the companion to match your cube size. If you get right. the six, I think it's the six or the nine, buy one, the other one's $42. See, and I'll ship it to you free. Yes, they okay. will. Use that promo code BOGO70, all right? 
Now, once you've created your whole block, look, I'm so glad you got my phone in there a hundred times. I'm sorry, <laughs> Greg. All right, so once you've done this, ta-da! You will have completed your block. Now, Amanda rotated every other block 90 degrees so the corners weren't the same. So like this would be this, which I think looks super cool. All right, any other questions about our, how to sew our block together, Miss Leslie? I do have a couple who have asked, they said when you put your fabric, they thought it had to be parallel with the shape, but you put it parallel with the die board. Oh, yes, let's talk about that real quick. Okay, so our dies are at an angle. Okay, and here, I'll put it here. Our dies are at an angle, and the reason is these are steel blades, and our cutters are steel rollers. So if this was straight on the die board, every single time that steel blade would hit that steel roller, you'd get this jarring effect. Like, have you ever gone over a speed bump with both wheels, and you just hit that speed bump, and you get that jarring effect? But what happens if you take the speed bump one wheel at a time? so much easier and smoother. So our dies are at an angle for a reason. So when you lay fabric on the die, oh, that was exciting. I did not burn my toes, just in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so when I lay my fabric on a die, I'm gonna lay it over the shape, okay? I'm gonna make sure that it's over the shape. I'm not gonna line it up with the die board like this because then you're gonna waste fabric, okay? So line it up with the shape. And for this one, you would just measure a quarter of an inch on either side, just rough cut with the fabric strip, and then you can just go back and forth across the die like I did, okay? So don't lay your fabric on the die board, lay it over the shape. That's a great question. I think they were also meaning with like the Snail's shell die, you put the layer cake just lined up because the layer cake fits perfectly on the die. Yeah. So you don't need to line it up with the shape on the die. You can just put it on the die and right. cut it perfectly. Right. Yeah, so those layer cakes, those 10 inch squares, I, I'm just gonna lay it over the shape. I'm not gonna, I mean, it's not gonna save enough fabric yeah. over the edges to, to worry about it. But a great way to use up your layer cakes. So if you have like Christmas fabric or Halloween fabric or some kind of you know holiday fabric of layer cakes, it's a great die. All right, Miss Leslie, do we have a winner or two or three? <laughs> we do we have two? our two winners. We have two winners? Yes. Okay, you ready? So the winner of our die is, drum roll please, Freddie and Brody. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> and then the winner of our cutting set is, I'm gonna say this wrong, Margaret Ray Kavarian. Margaret Ray, we're so sorry. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, Ms. Morgan is gonna reach out to you and we're gonna ship you off some prizes. Congratulations. All right, now, next week, we are going to make this super cute, adorable cow block using the Go Pickle Dish die, all right? And um, I love it because it has a really modern look to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, okay, there's a paper template involved. It's okay, I printed it out, I made it, it and all works, okay? And Miss Leslie, you will not be here. Christina will be back from vacation. Thanks Christina for Christina will be back next today. week. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm glad I'm sure I'll here. be back in the future. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Leslie will be around. It's all good. All right, Quilters, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, we have Nick upstairs and we have Leslie in the house. We have Morgan off site. We have Joe and Brock and Co uh, Cody is not here. Um, Joe, <laughs> holy smokes. First of all, it's Justin and Brock and Joe. I don't know where my whole life is. And Greg is here and Emily's here in the studio. She's joining us today and my good friend, Leslie. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great day. Thank you.